it done. He's just a regular guy. Good morning guys. Uh, the intro, hey, it happens. But today, guys, this grass is just getting out of control. We've been getting a lot of rain. Um, not so much at one time, but it's rain stops, rain stops, rain stops, and it's growing like crazy. And it's killing me because I can't get this lawnmower started. The uh, top pool part right here broke off. So then I hooked a string on it and tried to do it and I couldn't get it started. And then I rigged up the drill to uh, turn it and I can't get it started. I have no clue what's going on. I think it might be spark plug, maybe. So I'm going to have to try to take that out and fix it. But that's kicking my butt. And then I was like, you know what? I can just weed eat. I have my dad's old weed eater. I bought him a new one because I've been using his old one out here. And so uh, I was like, all right, the piece broke. So the piece right here that goes on the end of it, it's got the part that you put the spool on, and then it's got this little part, the end piece. Well, the other one, the threads broke off inside. Check it out. So I don't know if you could tell, but right there, it's supposed to be threads on the inside, but it broke off on the inside, of course. So I need to try and get a drill and drill down in there and take that out. If not, that whole part is useless. Again, I am stuck not mowing today and weed eating, and it's starting to make it look pretty junky around here. Like, check this out. When we first came out here, it looked just like this. And then I mowed it all down. Now it's back. So I gotta figure out something. I really don't wanna buy a brand new lawnmower to uh, have to use out here, but this is just getting ridiculous over here around the pathways looking bad. Check this side out over here. All of this over here is already grown up again. I mean, seems like I wasted my time out here. So I gotta figure that out, but uh, I am gonna keep working and keep doing something. I'm gonna go in a little bit and take the Jeep out and try to find another log like this, this side here, so I can finish this bench today, hopefully. I don't see why I can't. So I got, all I gotta do is get another piece like that. I need to go do that at some point today. I need to kinda clean up around here. I wish I could mow, so hopefully I gotta figure that out. I've been looking and see if I can find a cheap used one around here, but when you live in the middle of nowhere, there ain't a whole lot of people to buy stuff from, and most people around here keep stuff till it dies. So I'm at that point. So I might just have to uh, break down and go buy a new lawnmower. Not what I wanna do, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Just a quick update on the puppies. They're doing great. There's the five of them, yawning, crawling around. Look at this cutie. As you can tell, their eyes are starting to open. I mean, you can't tell me that ain't Bandit's puppy. Looks just like her. I mean, this is a, uh, this is a girl too. It's gonna look just like Bandit. How awesome. But as you can tell, their eyes are opening and they are just nice and healthy, guys. Go back under there with your buddies. The puppies are doing amazing guys they're doing so good i think all it was she couldn't handle eight of them and so uh the five that she has she's been doing absolutely amazing she's been staying with them i mean talk about 180 degree turn on that thing so puppies are doing awesome this tree over here it needs to go it's just a nasty uh lake tree whenever they first put this uh trailer thing here that tree wasn't even there. It was like a, it was like this big. And so we actually saw that in the whole footage, which was pretty cool. So I gotta get rid of it, guys. All it's doing is letting raccoons climb up it. We hear stuff running on top of the roof every morning at night. And 
it just needs to go it's rubbing up against the trailer it's blocking wind it's just it's a nasty tree and it needs to it needs to go like i said it needs to go so i think today i'm getting rid of it i'm gonna cut the whole dang thing off not today but i'm gonna try to build a little uh shade thing that goes over the window to block rain from hitting the ac unit um letting sun come straight in the uh, window but that tree it's got to go So always remember guys, safety. Got safety glasses, got gloves, and I got my chaps on. Safety first. At least that's what y'all tell me. Well, I tried to do it the safe way. Now it's time to do it my way. Sometimes you just gotta do it your own way. Tree's gone, it looks so much better. Good thing it's a cloudy day today. I'm already sweating, but I'm not dying. So I'm gonna keep working. But the tree is gone. It already looks a lot better. Now we can get in here, we can mow, keep this clean. And uh, it'll keep raccoons from uh, getting up there in that one spot. Uh, keep it from beating up the window and stuff. There is other tree, as you can tell. I wanna keep that tree because it does block some of the sun later on, but I wanna go in and cut it so it's not uh, reaching up against the uh, trailer or anything because that could be bad it could uh if we have a bad storm it could push against the trailer it could mess it up it could fall on it raccoons still get up there so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna try to uh, clean it up worst case scenario i cut it all down but for now i'll just try to trim it and save it look at that jaylena vlogging me vlogging me vlogging her vlogging jason cut down the tree and i was banging in the cat's like freaking out they didn't know what was going on I figured I would show everyone why. I was doing manly stuff. Manly stuff? You were drenched in sweat. I know. It's humid. Guys. This is weird. What do you think of this? Jaylena, her channel, if you don't know, if you're not over there yet, Jaylena, J-A-Y-L-E-N-A. -E she's doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. That way you can kind of see what goes on on the Crockers and then you get the different perspective of, okay, this is what it looks like when they're vlogging. That's what it looks like behind the scenes. So we think it's cool. She won't do behind the scenes every time she does something. I think it'd be pretty cool. I'm heading out right now to go see if I can find some wood. I need to finish this bench, guys. So uh, hopefully I can find what I need. But man, I need a, I need a tractor out here more than anything because this stuff is just growing up like crazy. So I just got out here to where uh, the tree fell down a long time ago. We've been chopping it up. As you can tell, this is the other section right here that I cut for the uh, bench. And I think what I'm going to do, I was planning on coming out here and cutting, but I think I'm going to take this whole piece right here and just take it back with me to the camp house and put it up next to the other one, see how much I need to cut. But maybe I'll, uh, not today, not even for sure today, maybe at another time I'll use that side for another bench if I plan on doing another bench. But for now, I think I'm going to take that load in the Jeep and head back to the camp house. 
got the log as you can tell and now I'm just going for a little cruise I absolutely love just riding out here Jaylene didn't want to come with me this time so a little solo I always bring a freedom stick with me and uh, I ain't trying to really use it but if I need it I got it so just using my red-blooded American rights like Dale says all right I saw something running up there I don't know what it was I don't know if you're able to see those, but some nice turkey. They're always in this area, always. So I enjoy this uh, drive out here. I really do. It's pretty awesome. And I almost hit, stop recording it. it. Smells like hogs, like javelina. Some type of hog. So maybe I'll run into them. I don't know. You never know. But while I'm out here, I'll just stop real quick. Let's see. We got these super cool air plants. I don't remember the actual technical term, what they're called, but these cool air plants, guys. And I mean, tons of them. Got a whole bunch of these small ones on here. These are pretty cool. And then I got this big one, as you can tell. This thing's super cool. Would you guys be interested in uh, purchasing some of these? Let me know. I think this would be a pretty cool way if we were to, uh, maybe if you donate some money, a certain amount, you get some of these. And so uh, that way, whenever we do decide to build our new house, maybe we can have some funds to uh, finish it out on the inside or fix things or whatever we may need. I have no idea, to be completely honest, what we'll need the money for at the moment. Maybe a new lawnmower. But what if you guys... Would you guys be interested in donating some money to get some of these? They're air plants. Again, I don't remember the actual uh, name of these, but these things are cool. I see them at Hobby Lobby and stuff. They sell fake plastic ones for like 10 bucks or something. Would you guys be interested? If so, let me know. Anything from this to uh, smaller ones or there's some pretty big ones. Let me see if I can. I'll show you real quick. I mean, I'm telling you, look at this. Just a big old cluster of them. Tons. Big old things. It's pretty awesome. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, we could work something out, I'm pretty sure. Try to figure out what they're worth to you guys. And uh, it'll kind of help us out. Get some uh, funds around here to uh, maybe get a lawnmower, build the inside of the house, finish the camp house. That's one of the biggest things that is stopping us realistically from doing a lot out here is funds. And yes, we did the GoFundMe a while back for the porch. I don't want to do another GoFundMe. A lot of you guys have asked, but GoFundMe's really aren't my uh, cup of tea, if you want to say that, I guess. So I like to earn money. Maybe we can work something out. I don't know. Like I said, let me know if you're interested. We could do something like that. We got logs. Jaylene is trying to do her uh, jewelry. We got skulls. We got all sorts of stuff out here. So if you guys are interested in something like that, let us know. make my dang makeup run all right now I'm gonna show you some of my hunting skills all right let's go and take you I'm gonna shoot us some meat for the freezer so I got my eye on buck that I've been watching for a while let's go get him so what you gonna do so when you walk you want to walk hell Toe. That way it makes less noise. Heel toe. So watch my feet. 
Watch them. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. Stay good, quarter crouch like this. They won't see you. Freezer, like I say. So, come here a little closer and I'll tell you a secret. I'm gonna run up light on it like a dog catcher. And uh, if you know anything about dog catchers, no one likes them. So, you gotta be quicker like, like lightning. Yeah! Oh! Come check this out. So, this is what you call the Healer's Kill right here. Cause look, got him right in the Healer's Kill. When you get that and you sled it, he can't run. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna trip. And he's gonna fall. Then you're gonna come up. You might have to rustle him down a little bit if you come down the ground. But the best knife out there, buck, buck knife. You ever heard of buck knife? What that is is an antler. So when you got him down right there, right there, you're gonna drop the bow. You're gonna run in. Mate and freezer camp. All right, now that we got this log, I got to size it up to this one. Oh. Looks like if I cut straight across here and straight across here, it'll give me a big base in the bottom. So we're gonna go with that. So now that we got this stump all debarked, this will be the bottom, so it's a big base for it to uh, not topple over. So it's got to be something like this under there. <laughs> As you can see, we got a log bench, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't perfect, it ain't set in stone, sand, but you know what I mean? I, uh, yeah, just set it over here for now. It's actually already fairly uh, stable, as you can tell, and then it's not screwed on or anything yet, so I think it's pretty cool so far. It's a good start to uh, see where it... Just fill this with some resin? Yeah. That's pretty good uh, placement. 
It'll you can be, easily roast marshmallows. Kids' knees won't get burned off. It'll be really nice in the winter. Yeah, and this is a good height. I think that's a pretty good height. I had it a little taller, but I buried it. So, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Uh, Jalena thinks she's funny. I said, hey, let's talk about the uh, bench. And what'd you say? I said I don't want to talk about it. She don't want to talk about it. Just kidding. Who who doesn't always want to talk about it? Ooh, there you go. Even though, did Jared skip a Taco Tuesday? I think he did. He's slacking, you guys. I created a Taco Tuesday intro, and that boy did one video. He has no excuse. We gave him every kind of meat there is. So there better be a Taco Tuesday on Tuesday, because we'll be at the, uh, almost said vet. <laughs> we'll be at the dentist. We'll but be at the vet. What do you think of the uh, bench? What do I think of it? Yeah. I think it's awesome. I think it's perfect. You know how much it cost? For free fitty? Free fitty. I definitely think we'll need some more seating, but this is a great start. Yeah, so uh, all I gotta do is put some bolts or screws down through there. Probably bolts. I don't think I can get uh, screws long enough. But I'm not trying to go overboard with this thing, with this whole project. So I think that's pretty cool. I'll end up probably clear coating it, screwing it down, coming in, adding a bunch more uh, sand in here. And then as you can tell, it's kind of uh, dirty as of right now. Um, I've been throwing sand everywhere trying to get it set up how I want so it's kind of a wreck so I got to get that put together but we have some other chairs I don't know how well they'll look but maybe we could find some cool chairs uh, I wish there was a, if anyone down here in South Texas knows where cool flea markets are let us know I'm missing Canton Trey days yeah we went to uh, the Goodwill and there wasn't much to be found there no nope. unfortunately so, if you guys know of any uh, places down here that we can go to get some furniture that could be outside that's not going to be that big a deal, let, let us know. know. They're all sleeping under there. They're so cute. Here comes Mama. So, I was going to talk about the puppies again, but they're sleeping. We didn't. They're just too cute to be moving around. We're yeah. just going to let them sleep. But, little bandit here. What you doing? Bandito Guito. She's a really good dog, so I'm thinking these puppies are going to end up just like her. But, yep, they're still doing good. I think uh, I think we might call it a day. I'm going to do some more work, but uh, I think it's good for the video. You got enough of Dale. Probably. I'm going to do some more resin stuff. I got a few ideas. I was going to put some bones in there, but I decided to do something else. Ooh, and Jaylena is starting up an Etsy store. I'm working on it. Um, I kind of filled out the the information wrong because I put Jason's credit card information but with my name and stuff and then I was like I'll just put it under Jason's name so I put it under Jason's name and then I realized it's got my birthday the last four of my social all that good stuff so now I don't think I can post anything oh well, let, just let your wife handle it right <laughs> so if we could figure that out we'll probably throw some air plants on there on, on there on there um, I think Dale's coming out right now, but uh, we'll post some air plants on there, some cool stuff we make out of logs, uh, jewelry, maybe paper airplanes, whatever. Whatever you guys want to buy, we'll put it on there. Yeah, so uh, it'd be a cool way for us to earn a little extra money to put into the ranch, and you guys can get a part of the ranch, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. This was a very strange uh, vlog today, if you want to call it that. It was random. I liked it. I like random stuff. Did you guys like it? If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Because YouTube is unsubscribing a bunch of our people. Probably because we said we're red-blooded Americans would be my guess. So, if that's the case, please go check if you're actually subscribed. Please check if, you're hit, if you have the notifications set. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, as always, thank you so much to WeBoost. For allowing us to have 4G cell service so we could post these videos every single day out here from the ranch. Yep, so thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.